guys. How are you? Welcome to Wednesday. Welcome to Winning Wednesday. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to be here today. I'll wait for a couple of you to get into your seats and then we'll do some sharing. Actually, yeah, we'll do some sharing. I'll talk to you guys share. Anyway, hope you're having a great morning. It's lunchtime here. I'm actually getting ready after I do this live video to head over to Costco. I have a couple things to pick up. And um, anyway, oh, who just joined? Who's who's first in the class? Who is first in the classroom? Oh, we got two now. <laughs> hey, who was there? Make sure you say hi. Oh my goodness, it's chilly. It was. I had to take Dean to the airport this morning. He had a six o'clock flight and... Um, Oh, it must have been a seven o'clock flight because I had to get it there. Hey, Esther. Um, and it was 23 degrees. Here in Raleigh, 23 degrees. Hey, Stephanie, how are you? Nice to have you guys join us. Oh my goodness. Joy, hello, hello. Yes, it's coming down the wire for some of you guys finishing up your month and your rewards and all that good stuff. Hey, Sarah, how are you? Kelly. Oh my gosh, Kelly, this is your first time. I love when you guys can catch me live. Although when you watch the replay, it's live too, so kind of, right? Hey, Loretta, four degrees in Vermont. Oh my goodness. Okay, I will not complain about 23. I heard New York was like 12 degrees. Yeah. Hey, Sandra. Sandra said, oh my gosh, from snowy Ohio. And Sandra, um, you're at lunch. I'm catching you at lunch, yes. Katie, oh my goodness, Katie. I'm so glad to have you join. Monday, guys, at seven o'clock Eastern time, 7 p.m. Eastern time, Katie and I are coming live in the mock Facebook group, and we're going to provide you guys with a training on using Katie's idea, bingo idea, in your live Facebook parties. And then Sarah Anderson, we haven't gotten her scheduled yet, but she's going to come live and she's going to share how she uses bingo in her in-home parties. Listen, we've got January and February, of course. It, your business is going to rock. You just need to stay with us. You need to make sure that um, that you're in this group and, of course, Coffee with Kathy cause, and, of course, Mock. I shouldn't say it. All three groups. Anyway, um, Oh, you're off today, wrapping and baking. Oh, how wonderful. Hey, Dawn, how are you? All right, well, let's go ahead and get started. Um, first of all, I want to share something with you guys. So I don't know if any of you get a chance to watch Project Runway, but I absolutely love it because I'm not the least bit creative at all with, you know, design or anything. My mom was. My mom used to make all of our clothes when we were kids. But um, I don't know if you watch it because Marie Claire, um, Mary Claire, that's Mary Claire, she, the the um, the editor is always, you know, on the, she's one of the judges. So I follow their newsletter. And one of the things that they recommended for a nighttime routine every night is to, is to be able to hydrate your lips. Now, um, I know during the day, that we use our these lip balms and that's fabulous right quick way to just slick it on and and go go on your way at night your nighttime routine has to be or should be different than your daytime routine in fact i'm just going to give you a little tip that you guys might want to write down when you do your um, skincare classes and your facials the reason why you want to wash your face in the morning even though you've washed it the night before is not only because you know your sheets and pillowcases carry bacteria, but the products you use at night are needed to be removed in order for the products you use during the day to become more effective. And um, and then you guys all know when I see your posts in the community group about you know you know still having some acne and things like that. One thing I don't see you guys you know um, broadcast very often is exfoliating. Now, one of the things you guys need to really keep in mind from the from the top of your head down through the ends, the tips of your toes, is there are pockets 
and layers of dead cells. And they just collects on your skin. Your skin, I actually call it like little garbage bags. And in order to get rid of the garbage bags, to open them up and actually get rid of them, you've got to exfoliate. So, um, so no product that you recommend to your customers is going to be as effective as they're going to, as you're going to want them to be without a routine of exfoliation. It might be once a week. It might be twice a week. It might be three times a week. But if they don't remove that dead skin, those dead cells, I should say, dead skin or dead cells, their products are laying on top. It's like, it's like on top of those garbage bags. So you've got to be able to get rid of those dead skin cells for the products to become more effective. So please make sure you guys recommend that every time somebody says, what do you recommend to take care of my fine lines or my age spots or my, you know, acne, you know, adult acne. First and foremost, it's to get into a routine of exfoliating. And their products are going to last longer because they're going to use less product. But most importantly, they're going to see the products, they're going to see the the um, the overall effect, the impact of them using our products. They're going to see it faster. It's going to, they're going to take effect quicker for sure. Um, so anyway, so make sure you guys are, you know, kind of using that type of language, that type of conversation. And, and I always like to say, do it the effect. Messenger live first. I mean, if they've if they're asking you a question, instead of you know writing them, just say you know do you have a few minutes to chat? I'd like to video chat with you. And again, like I said, most of the time they'll say, "How do you do that?" And you're like, "Oh, no problem. And I'll just watch for the ringing." Because as soon as they click that telephone or that video, or whatever, it'll it'll come live with this. All right. So that's why you always want to recommend that there's a routine at night and then there's a routine in the morning and you don't miss the two and you don't not wash your face. Now, again, I've got lots of tips for face washing, but I'm not going to go there right now because that's not the purpose of today's training. Before I get into today's training, I did, hey, Jennifer, I did want to, um, to share a nighttime routine for your lips. There it is. Hydrating eye cream. This is a little thicker. So it'll actually, you know, be a little bit better um, as far as the the you you'll lose you use less less because it's thicker. But the other thing is the key word here is hydrating. So when you look at our eye cream, we have two different types of eye cream. One is hydrating, which is adding moisture, and the other one has the witch hazel, just enough witch hazel to um, reduce puffiness. Now, if it's reducing puffiness, it's actually sucking out the moisture. So you don't want that for your, for your lips. So what you want to do is you want to teach your customers, this is a twosome. You get two benefits from the eye cream. So you want to teach it, and I always put it on my, I use this as a palette, and you just put a little bit of a dot on there just like that, and then they just go ahead and rub it into their lips at night. And they have night cream for their lips. And honestly, they could do it in the daytime too. I mean, actually, they're putting it on their eyes, they might as well put it on their lips. Now they have their lips nighttime ready. And you want to recommend that to everyone, everyone. It doesn't matter where they live because we're lick, we are lip lickers. Um, when we get nervous, when we talk fast, when we don't have lipstick on or our lipstick's ready to be replaced, that's when you start to feel your lips almost giving you the high sign. Um, I need you to re-moisturize me because when you wear lipstick, your lips get accustomed to the feeling of being moisturized. And again, as your lipstick starts to fade away, your lips kind of remind you that says, I'm feeling a little bit dry and you have a tendency, we have a tendency to lick them. And of course, that's the worst thing you can do. It's like, it's like licking your contact lens when people said, oh, I just put some, you know, spit in my hand and the, your eye doctors are like, what? Oh my gosh, there's so much bacteria in your saliva. So anyway, I just wanted to share that tip. Yeah, so Julie says she already does that. Good for you, Julie. So that's a tip that you guys can give when you start to give your skincare classes in 2018, or maybe you go live with it now. I mean, yes, go live with it now. That is a great tip to share in your customer groups on your personal page, right? Just say, you know what, I just learned something, or for Julie, she's already doing it, and did you know, have I shared it with all of you that are following and using our skincare system? You want to make sure, and so this is this is what you use, and this comes in your new consultant kit. So how cool is that, right? Okay, 
All right, so let's talk a little bit about the make and takes. So I was in, um, it's so interesting, this all came about timing-wise perfect. Kelsey and I were at um, the South Point Mall in Durham here in North Carolina. It's a huge mall. And one of the things that she said to me, um, she said, I hope they have a Lush there. And I'm like, what is Lush? And she said, oh, Mom, it's a store that um, has bath bombs. And I'm like, girl, where have you been? You don't use anybody else's products like that. But no, I didn't say that to her. I was just interested to see what they had. Oh, my goodness. The store was jammed packed. Everybody wanted to give bath bombs as gifts. It was amazing. And I was telling Kimberly Merritt that one of the things that really struck me is how they were packaging the bath bombs. So I'm going to encourage you guys, when you, um, when you are deciding to do a bath bomb class, that you think about the end result. Remember, we eat with our eyes. So anything you guys do, listen, I'm going to digress just for a minute. And I'm sorry to do this, but I need to. Um... And I want to do it where I'm not hurting anybody's feelings. So I'm just, and this is not directed at any one person. It's just, it's just, it's just company wide. Let me just put it that way. When you guys are doing something as symbolic or as noticeable as a foot spa, you guys want your host as she watches you set it up and be prepared. Because let's say, for example, I only do foot spas Friday nights for girls night in, or I do a Saturday brunch, or I do a Sunday afternoon, something like that, um, because I want the amount of time. So sometimes when I advertise that I offer foot spas on these dates or these days of the week, I don't do it on Monday through Thursday, when I advertise that, there it's, bl it's blind faith. They're assuming when they book me for that foot spa, that I'm going to be as well, I'm going to, I'm going to represent them just like I represented the host at the in-home party they're attending, right? And again, think about it, guys. I've said this before to you. You're, you're being interviewed. When somebody books you, they've hired you. So your appearance, how your display looks, and that's why I think for those of you that are using your product at home, when you run out of your product, it's okay to take the empty containers, clean them up, and use them as display, and then even just bring samples with you, with lots of spatulas. And of course, lots of spatulas mean you have a cute little container, like a toothpick holder, for the spatulas. So anyway, so you're being hired. So you're, you're, the overall impression is what somebody is booking. They're booking you because you have knowledge. They're booking you because everybody loves you. But they're also booking you because of how they, their perception of you. So, so let's go back to the foot spa. So somebody books a foot spa for me. They've never experienced one. So they're expecting me to be as professional and as polished and as caring to their friends for that foot spa as I was to the friend they, whose party they attended. So when you look at a foot spa, you've got to remember that when they walk, well, first of all, when you set up, your host is thinking, oh my goodness, my friends are going to love this. She's watching you. And everything she's watching is what is connecting her to you because you're doing this for her friends. Remember, an in-home party is different than a virtual party because you are making a first impression. I mean, it's a little bit harder to make a first impression with a virtual party as, as deeply relationship connector as an in-home party. So everything that you're doing, setting up for that face, for that foot spa, she's watching and she's getting excited, excited for it. And why would she get excited? Because you have, you have thought through this, this um, party. You've thought through the, the display. If you can't afford to have the little, the little things that they're not expensive, but they are cost, they do cost you something. They didn't come in your kit. That's why I love all of our new consultants not doing foot spas because you can do a hand spa, you can do a facial, you can do a skincare class. 
you can do those three in your first 30, 60 days and, and do nothing. And then every, and everything comes from your kit, right? You don't have to invest in anything except for some fun pens. When you decide to go off the reservation a little bit and do your, your makeup classes, your essential oil classes and your foot spas, you need to really think about the investment as far as what you're shopping for and how the end result's gonna look because as her guests walk in, they should be wowed by the setup. Now, I'm not gonna tell you what that setup needs to look like, I'm just gonna let you know that you should be thinking, I wanna wow them when they walk in. So the little tiny techniques that you do, the little personal touches, um, I mean, if you again, if you can't afford to make it a wow, don't do it right now. Wait until you have more money to reinvest. Uh, again, and I say this because I've read some of the comments in the community group, even about foot, foot bins. Well, you should never have a foot bin without liners. Never. I mean, even my nail tech place now, they do use liners for where the water goes into, where my feet are going to go into. Um, so again, I don't know. I just really want to, I really want to make sure I'm giving you that permission not to do foot spas, no matter how much pressure you get from anybody else in the company, as far as they're doing foot spas, don't do it unless you are prepared to be able to make every little twist and turn represent you, right? What would you like to have if you walked into a room and were experiencing a foot spa? Um, you know, Stephanie, you said you're not cr at creativity in the community group. I actually, I actually did show you a photo of just somebody's random foot spa, and I snapped. You know, I, I took a photo off of somebody else's page that does foot spas, not from Lemongrass Spa, and it was, it was just, it was not overly expensive, but it was stunning. So my suggestion is Google. Google foot spa setups, um, in-home spa, foot spas, things like that. Google that, Stephanie, and get some ideas. But the key is, again, we eat with our eyes. So your, that first impression is what, what her, your host friends get when they walk in the door. And the other thing, Stephanie, is go to your upline. That's the other thing I really want to encourage you guys you have sponsors slash mentors. Your sponsor may not be your mentor because she may be new or maybe she's not doing the business as seriously as you are. You've got other people up the food chain that are so successful, including me. So make sure that you utilize that, that you know, uplines creativity and their knowledge and they're, they're caring about you. Make sure you're not, you're not just saying, I don't know what to do. No, you, well, what you do is you go around your, your sponsor. If it's not somebody that is, you know, engaged or brand new and you go up, you go up the food chain and there's so much, so much creativity, so much caring, so much depth to their knowledge that that's where you really need to be going. Um, okay. So, so anyway, so I went to the Lush store, so we're going to go back. So I just want to digress, but I have to say that because I am the field trainer and I think everything I do, I do for you. I don't do it to you. I do it for you. So this whole thing about these foot spas just really kind of, you know, set a little bit wrong with me because I just started seeing people say, oh, I get this and I get this. And I'm thinking, oh my goodness gracious. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you shouldn't. And um, so again, just, you know. You have lots of people that do foot spas and they do them beautifully. And when I say do them beautifully, it's not only the technique they do, but the display that when while somebody walks in, they see. Anyway, and there is in the Coffee with Kathy group, if you use the search bar and type in foot, you just type in YouTube, YouTube video, you can scroll down and I've actually done a foot spa video for you guys with Glenny because she's actually shortcut the amount of time that you start by putting the the um, the different ingredients you use, the three different steps. She's put them in little containers and she wrapped them up in, in a, you know, a inexpensive, but everybody has their own foot towel. You write, put it with a bow. Do you get the impression? This is the type of thing, the extra effort you put into that will make all the difference. You, It's your signature, it, it's your signature. So anyway, all right. So let's go back to bath bombs. So I, so anyway, so, so I, I mean, I knew that Kim, Kimberly, Kimberly did 
married to bath bombs. I mean, her and Jen, they do bath bombs all the time. They're so very successful. They've got it down to an art, not only the way they look, but the way they're packaged. And again, that's where I was getting to, is the packaging in Lush was amazing. In fact, let me tell you one of the packaging that struck my eye. They took a bandana, and I'm talking about a bandana that I've seen at Target, or excuse me, Walmart, for a dollar. And they actually wrapped up certain bath bombs in this bandana and tied it, and that, that was the that was the what you would purchase. That was one of the gift wraps. The gift. Some of them were bad boxes. In fact, one of the boxes they actually had the bath bombs look like pieces of candy. You know, marshmallow, um, like one looked like a marshmallow um, Santa, uh, Santa Claus. No, no. Um, um, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I <laughs> these mental pauses when I get excited. Snowman. So they had these little tiny ones that look like marshmallow snowman and they were bath bombs. Well, they had them in a box that looked like a candy box or a cookie box. Actually, it was a cookie box. And so when you open the box up, they were strategically placed and aligned. They were beautiful. Now, again, we don't have to get that fancy because we're just starting out. Well, I'm just starting out. Kim's not just starting out, but most of you may be starting out. So again, if you're using, um, you know, cupcake liners, right? Or you're using, um, you know, the, the molds, just think about what would be the end result. So they've made these bombs and now where, how do they take them home? Or what do the, what's the result of who gets them, right? Why are they making the bombs? So um, again, these, these bandanas were adorable. They were just bandanas and they had, they had, must've had this, the, um, the cupcake ones like Kim does because they were they were four in a they were laying flat and then they did a bandana so it was easy to pick up and take to the to the register. Um, all right, so I wanted just to let you know that there are so many bath bomb looks out there, and I would Google. I, you know, I, Kim's in in the Coffee with Kathy group. If you use the search field and you say make and takes or bath bombs, you probably will see a lot of a lot of different ones. However, you can Google guys, and you could see some great um, examples of of some of the of the results that you want. Right? I mean, mini muffin pan ones. Um, I know um, uh, Pampered Chef had. Um, Silicone molds, you could probably talk to a pamper, your Pampered Chef rep, and they probably have those silicone molds. And I think they're out, I think they're even on the outlet, or if not, she could probably tell you where she could get you some. But they were pop out and they look like little, um, little fluted, fluted cakes, but they're miniature, little fluted miniature cakes. So, you know, again, there's so many ways to be creative with the look. And that's it. Again, we're talking about we eat with our eyes. So you want to make sure that you practice before you take it live. Now, let me explain what that means and why I wanted to come on today. Practicing means this. It means that you grab a couple girlfriends, maybe a, a customer, a neighbor, somebody that is part of your lemongrass story. So they are someone that is using lemongrass spa. And you invite them over to be testers. Now you can do this anytime this this month, and they can test, make some, and take them back with them. Or you can offer in January, yes, in January, offer testing classes. And where you want, and you just say, would you be willing? You can do it at your home. Or you can contact one of your past hosts that you remember had a great house that she loved showing off to her friends and say, we had such a great time at your home. I was wondering, I want to test some fun classes I'm going to be offering next in 2018 with our essential oils and they're going to be make and take classes. I was wondering if you might like to be one of you know, my, my testers and invite a couple of your friends. Now, again, she's inviting her friends. You could, you have customers that if they live close to you, now these are your customers, people that again are part of your lemongrass story. Um, and you say to them, listen, you know, and you, and you say to your host, you know, would you like me to, you know, can I bring a couple of my friends over too? I mean, again, clear this with your host. Again, the perfect thing is if, is this, if you would create this at your house, that's the perfect perfect venue or a best friend where you can just, everybody can invite everybody. 
But if you are going to reach out to a host, which is fine, you want to make sure you say to your host, I have a couple friends that might be interested. Can they come also? And your host loves having a full house. They love the fact that they don't have all the pressure isn't on them to invite. So, um, so anyway, and the reason I came up with this testing idea is because you're going to hear me talk about it again in February, because anytime we introduce a new catalog, you want testers, you want your family and your friends to come test the new products and vote on which are the products that you should be taking to your upcoming makeup classes, essential oil class, your skin class. So they, they, they think, and they are, they think they're coming to help you test out the products. That is your month of February. As soon as you can start ordering the products, and even in March, that's the theme of a lot of your month should be, you know, for a couple classes, it should be testers, right? And again, they leave their checkbooks at home, but what you'll find is they will want to buy, like, oh my gosh, I don't want to wait, can I buy this tonight? Of course you can buy this tonight. Again, that's when they go on sale, you can offer that. However, you can say, listen, your money's no good, because next month, that's my host special, that's my gift to you as a host. So why don't we get a few of your friends together and I'm going to bring, I'm going to go ahead and give that to you as my gift, my thank you. So you want to have that in the front of your mind because each person that wants to buy it, it will be a different host special because the host special is your, is your host special, but it's whatever they have in their hand, right? Like, oh my gosh, I love this. Can I not buy it? And like, oh no, no, no. Next month, it's the, it's the hosting special. So grab a few of your friends. This is yours free. I mean, when they're, when they're in, when they're engaged, we talk, we talked the last class I, I did live with you guys. We talked about the fact that most women emotionally make decisions and then they back it up with, with logic. Well, they're standing there smelling this, they're testing it. They're like, Oh my gosh, I so need this. You know, like, of course you do. So next month, grab a few of your friends or the end of this month and let's go ahead and you get it free. And you're in the moment. They're making that, that irrational <laughs> decision to book right there and then and that's how that's the type of connection you could only make in home parties you could only make this connection this type of you know excitement engagement irrational thinking if you will at in-home parties that's why right now i am so focused on getting you guys out the door and into somebody else's house because that's what you want to do um yeah, Chantel, Pinterest is another great resource, but a lot of people obviously aren't on Pinterest because I, I just know they're not even on, they're not even Googling. So I'm assuming, but yes, Pinterest has tons of ideas, tons of ideas for, um, for anything really. I just type in the word, you know, um, you know, bath bombs and oh my gosh, I'm flooded with all these bath bomb ideas. So I just, there's so many cute ideas out there. Okay. So, um, so again, so going back to this. You want to test out these bath bombs. You do not want to go live. No, please do not do that because your reputation is at stake. If you are at somebody's house, they are relying on you to know what you're doing. So you must test it before you go live and um, into somebody else's house. And testing it means you either test it at your girlfriend's house and she invites a couple friends or you test it at your house and you invite testers. Now, the other thing you want to do while they're at your house testing is you want to go live at that time. Because as you go live and you say, okay, we're all together and we're making bath bombs and oh my goodness gracious, this has been such a great amount of fun just testing these bath bombs. Um, it's, a, it's a theme that I'm offering next month. I'm starting a portfolio in using essential oils to replace you know, the things that you um, use in your bathroom and the things that you use in your kitchen. Because that's the other thing I want you guys to consider, doing a testing class on making cleaning products. And Glennie's gonna come on live, but there's also Glennie and Megan. I mean, Megan is the queen of making wipes, granite wipes and bathroom wipes. She each teaches you how to go to the dollar store, how to get the containers, how to cut your, um, your, your um, paper towels in half, stuff them down in there, make your cleaning solution with your essential oil, your water and your alcohol, or your, um, your um, 
vinegar, depending on what, what you're cleaning. And that's how, I mean, it's those ingredients and it's pennies. It's pennies. So again, not only do I think bath bombs are really essential, and at this time of year they are because of the essential oils and the whole healing and the moisturizing and taking care of your skin in the winter. However, there's some individuals that will want to learn how to save money and to get away from chemicals, especially if they have family members that have immune deficiency things going on in their life, like allergies and asthma and, I mean, Anything that, that kids are sensitive to, anything at all, if somebody's allergic to dogs or cats, they that family is a perfect candidate for removing chemicals because that's a sensitivity that's already occurring within their nervous in their nervous system, etc. So um so again, these are the testing things that you do at your home and you go live. Because as you go live, your call to action is Comment below if you want to set one of these up for your friends. They're absolutely free. Now, they're not always going to be free, but until you get your calendar booked, I would consider keeping the cost as far as this, the menu of options you, you offer, keeping it to a minimum. Maybe you offer two different types of bombs, right? With two different types of essential oils. So again, that's where you keep the cost low by you controlling the menu, the options that they get to choose from. Because again, you're building a portfolio, you're getting a following, you're getting a lot more comfortable doing them outside your home, and you start to go live, even at people's homes you go live, you know, with this, this bath bomb experience or the clean, the clean living experience, right? So the key here, what I wanted to really emphasize is making sure you are testing it at your home and you're bringing people in. And they're leaving with a finished product. And what that product looks like before they walk out of the door is how you wrap it up. How you actually give it to them to take home. Because let's say that they, the finished product is gift worthy. Oh my goodness, you don't want them to, you don't want to say, oh yeah, you can go and get bags and things like this. No, you be ready. Big Lots has the cutest food bags cookie bags and cake bags and things like that. They're adorable and they've got them in their store right now. Those are great type of bags that are see-through that just look beautiful. And you could, you know, get a cute little gel pen or, or pen that you write that can write on something like that. And they can actually hand write on the bag thinking who they're going to give it to. And the name of the bomb they don't even have to do a label. Just let them hand write because then it's a little personal note to whoever they're going to pass this on to. Listen, a neighbor, the next door neighbor that gets their mail when they're doing their um, they're on vacation. You guys, I don't have to go into that detail, but you guys get it. Um, oh, let's say, okay, Julie, you'll come back. <laughs> yeah, you'll come back, Julie, and you can, you can let, listen to this. All right. So, so again, what I want to come here today is just to make sure you guys did know about the class you do at your home or a, a girlfriend does it or her home for, for other reason, your home's not conducive, that you do the practicing, you do it now, invite it, let her invite friends, you invite some friends and say, listen, it's a tester. I'm testing out these bath bombs. It's, there are classes I'm going to, classes I'm going to offer in 2018. I need some practice. Would you be willing to come and you can take home whatever you make? And listen, there are people that are going to want to buy an essential oil to make it at their home once they find out how easy they are. So be prepared to take any orders, but most importantly, you want to say as they're making these bath bombs, you know, I just think this is going to be so much fun next month. What do you think? I have a couple more spots open on my calendar for either bath bombs or cleaning, a cleaning class where we're going to replace the Clorox wipes. So you decide. And it's just one theme. It's either replace your wipes. The other thing somebody did is they did rollerball vials. So you have rollerballs with two for three dollars. So that's a class that you don't even have to charge for if you don't want to. Um, if you charge for a make and take with the hand wipes, you want to charge for the containers they're going to be using when they're there. Um, the paper towels cost nothing. You've got the, you know, things like that. But it's up to you. I know, so, I know, I think um, Megan does charge a flat rate for people to come. And that includes the use of the ingredients and the 
the you know container they take home. However, remember now that's when you get to, to where you feel confident that you're offering these classes, but right now you're testing so you don't charge. They come, they practice, you practice, you go live, and all of a sudden your followers on Facebook, they now brand you not only with Lemongrass Spa, but the make and take person, right? And that's how you want to be branded. Remember Laura on our class, on our fundraiser class? She is now known in eight churches, the Lemongrass Spa Lady. Now, the reason she did that is not because of how much her sales were, because of the activity she took on to make this fundraiser successful. It was the amount of work in the background that she was doing and the connection she was making. The orders were the end. That was at the end of it. Everything she did up leading up to those orders is what got her to be noticed, to be branded, if you will, as the Lemongrass Spa Lady. So every time you do something, you need to go live in Facebook and you need to just say, even if it's just prepping, listen, if it's prepping for the for a class, for if you're if you're getting ready to go to a party and you're lining up your products, go live. And just say, who are my DS friends out there? Direct sales friends. What do you do when you get ready to do a party? Here's some of the things I prepare. Listen, that's how you brand yourself. You're not selling. You're giving them a glimpse of your life as a Lemongrass Spa Consultant. So I just wanted to come here and share that with you guys because I think it's so important that we use this opportunity that Kim gave us, that Kimberly gave us, and my trip to Lush to say this is a viable solution for your calendar in January. I mean, there are so many things that we offer and can offer class-wise with our products. Don't miss out. Don't think about it as sales. Think about it as solutions. What are they leaving with, right? Okay, um, let's see if there's any other questions you guys might have. Let me see here. If you guys have questions, let me know through this this thing because I don't want this all to be about me talking. I mean, yes, you know, I'm always going to talk, but you guys give me feedback. What are what are some of the things that you're taking away from this? And listen, guys, in this class, this group here, this is where, you know, when I did the Black Friday, I created a group for Black Friday and we just stored tons of stuff in there and you'll go back and use it next year. This is where we are setting up your January. So pretty soon we're going to be saying, okay, now your January calendar is filled. Whatever that looks like for you, it's filled. Then I'm going to step over into now we talk about what happens at those parties. So this is the time you, you want to stay with me. You want to stay in this group. You want to tag your peeps. You want to set your notifications to all because you want to know what's being posted in here. Yes, sometimes I'll go over into the Coffee with Kathy group and I'll post some things in there that are happening in this group, but I really want to make sure that everybody understands this is the place to be. And if they only want to be one place to get one source of training for our 2018 and beyond, this is where they land, right? So this is where you guys must land for these types of trainings when, you know, Kimberly does this and, and, um, yeah, and Glennie does her essential oil, you know, thing. It's, it's, you know, it's going to be in these, in this, in this group. Now, again, I will transfer it over for other people, especially closed caption. However, it's really important, guys, that you stay with me in here and you scroll down and, and read through and know where I've, where I've, what I've shared and where I've shared it. All right. Somebody said, um, where do you get foot tubs and liners? Okay, Brianna, great question. Your foot tops are at your local dollar store for sure. They are at your big lots. They're really, and they're tubs. They're, they are, um, they're, you know, tubs, right? In fact, what I, what I was familiar with them is because at Pampered Chef, I would put them under my demonstration table when I was doing a, a hands-on, not a hands-on, when I was doing a class where I was the actual demonstrator, I would put them under the table so I could put my dirty utensils, my used utensils in there. And I, they weren't cluttering up the my workstation. Um, and I'm sure, you know, some people will post in here where, where the, you know, the picture of the tubs, etc. In fact, I, this is what I'll do, guys. I will post that picture that I did in the CUNY group of that setup, that foot spa setup, since I opened the door, I will post that in here. 
Um, and Brianna, if you are, are, if you use Google, that is your best friend. You actually can type in your question right in the in the the link the URL, you know, in the Google you know bar. Type in your question. You actually talk to Google. You don't have to just stick with words. You can actually talk. How do I find foot tops or where do I find foot tops? Right? Diane asked about finding um, I think citric acid or something like that for the bath bombs. I just went into Google and typed in. Where do you purchase citric? Where's the best place to purchase citric acid? And I think it was citric acid. But anyway, and Google came back and said to me, oh, grocery stores, Walmart. So again, talk to Google, ask the questions. So that's what I would do. And then your liners, we actually get them. Um, we get them in Amazon and they actually are trash can liners. Um, they're white, so they complement any color, uh, any color tubs. Um, but listen, listen, guys, listen to this. I'm telling you, just know that that when you invest in something like that, you're investing into a theme that you've decided to offer. It's not that all of a sudden somebody wants a foot spa and now you have to go and find things to, to make it happen. No, you should be saying in 2018, I'm going to be offering foot spas so I need to talk to my mentor, my upline, my sponsor, Kathy, the community group, and find out what do I want to leave as an impression, because you are leaving as an impression. And again, some of those comments I saw, oh, I use this, I use that, I wanted just to, I was cringing, and I did not say anything because I didn't want to make anybody feel bad, but I was cringing, because it just... It just didn't, it's just not right. It's just not right that we, that we make, that we don't put our best face forward, our best foot forward in this case, to make our host just feel like she chose the right person. And, um, and that's what you do. All right. So I will put the photo, I'll find it and put it in here. And again, it wasn't, it wasn't the color scheme I was going for because I think it's pink, but it's just letting you see when, I mean, when you look at that photo, you're like, ah, that's what I want mine to look like. Well, of course you do. Or some variation of it, right? I mean, yeah, it's not our, it's not our scrub brushes. Our foot brushes aren't, I mean, it shows foot brushes, not ours. But it just gives you an example of what an overall look should, should represent if you're offering foot spas, right? Yeah. Anyway, I don't want to beat a dead horse, but I do feel strongly about this, as you can tell. And um, and I got, I want you guys to have just the best outcome of everything you put your money into and your time into. You want you want the best the best re, you know re, you want it back. You want to be able to get the results back, and that's why it takes some sometimes some additional funds investment, and it definitely takes time. And it takes contacting and, um, you know, reaching out to people that individuals that are doing it successfully. So um, anyway. All right. So, Amy, you're late to the party. Make sure you go back, girl, and watch it from the beginning because I gave you a tip about how to use treat your, your lips at night. This is it. This is it. Your customers are going to absolutely love the fact now, and by the way, you do know that our eye cream is used as an eye makeup remover. Not if you use them waterproof and not if you do, you know, like lots of, of heavy layers and building up of your, you know, your eyes, but just the everyday no makeup makeup look where you have an eyeliner, maybe a shadow and some, and our mascara, this can absolutely be your, be your eye makeup remover for sure. Um, and I used I always sell it for that in addition to eye cream because whatever's left over is heals your eyes right and you do it at night so and then you go ahead and put some on your lips and your lips will be hydrated and beautifully um, youthful looking because it's hydrated all right um, okay guys have a great rest of your day today's Wednesday right today's Wednesday and um, tomorrow I will not be coming live. During the day, I'll come live at 7 at night. Um, you guys asked me to come live at 7. Kelsey's still here today, so I'm going to be out to dinner, etc., with her and her girlfriend. But tomorrow, starting tomorrow, I'll try very hard, if I'm in this group, to always come at 7 o'clock because that's what you guys asked me to do. And if you have anything in particular you want me to share in this group having to do with 2018 and beyond, building our January, um, 
let me know because I think it's really important that you understand I'm doing this for you. Yes, I do home parties because Heidi and Brian allow me to um, and they treat me like a consultant. However, it's really about me being able to take my experiences from before and what I'm experiencing now and give you a real life experience of what to do, what not to do, and why to do what you're doing. So, um, all right, you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for sticking with me and um, I'll, I'll be in touch, right? Okay, bye guys.